What's up, this your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boxing Clinic. Um, last night, uh, Eric Lundy Laura uh, beat Ronald Monterosi in a close fight. Um, that's neither here or there. Uh, I did a reaction uh, to that fight. Usually do two reaction. This is not a reaction to that fight. Uh, the reaction is that Eric Lundy Laura is pound for pound the most boringest fighter out today, and probably pound for pound. Top three of the most boringest fighters I've ever seen in my life. I was one of those guys that used to defend Laura, especially against my boy Carlos Ponce de Leon, who's been saying he's been boring for a very long time. Uh, even in his wins, it's just very boring. With Ishe Smith, with a guy he should have knocked out and blew out, it was boring. Uh, even though he dominated Paul Williams but lost, it was boring. I mean, the Devin Rodriguez fight was exciting. He moved his hands. But this guy just doesn't really cut the bread. He doesn't cut the butter. Uh, you might say Rigondeaux is boring, but versus Tian Kenny, Rico, Rico Ramos, Ramos, and Nuno Donaire, uh, two of those three fights in the end of their knockouts, he was exciting. And against the tall Asian guy, he moved his hands a lot. He was exciting. So, I mean, he's exciting. Rigondeaux is exciting once you force him to, to that caliber um, to be exciting. But Laura, I mean, no matter how much you force him, no matter if it's Canelo Alvarez or Austin Trout, um, it's a boring fight. He likes to move around a lot, not move his hands. If you move, if he moved his hands as much as he moved his legs, um, he'd be very exciting. And he wants to fight a guy like Gennady Golovkin. You have to be more offensive than he is to beat a guy like Golovkin. Um, he gives up too much ground for a Golovkin fight. I think Golovkin will eventually cut the ring off on him. Um, I think he probably beats Daniel Jacobs. He called him out last night. Um, I think he beats Daniel Jacobs, Peter Quill, and Andy Lee. Um, but it wouldn't be an easy fight with, Dan with Daniel Jacobs at all. But uh, he's just very, very boring. And, you know, Ronnie Shields probably has forced him to try to become more offensive, but it's embedded in those Cuban fighters to be defensive first. And even when you mention the defensive wizards like um, currently Bernard Hopkins and, and Floyd Mayweather, they, even though they do posh a lot, they're very offensive with their right hands and with their jab. Um, Laura's not offensive with the jab or the right hand. He throws the right hand to land, and that's it. You will see Mayweather and Hopkins consecutively landing that jab or landing that lead right hand. Uh, so... You know, um, I really don't care if I see Larry on TV again until he becomes more offensive. And I think him becoming more, more offensive will help him defensively. People give him credit for being such a defensive genius. I really don't see it. I see Bonas really hit him to the body a lot. I remember Angulo was landing double, triple hooks, left hooks on him. And I think him being more offensive will keep people off of him defensively. Um, so hopefully he changes that. He comes back a smarter, better fighter, more offensive fighter. But this your boy, CJ Goodfella. We gone.